Here's an interesting geometry problem that recently caught my attention. Given what you know about circles, you're expected to find the area of the region colored in red. Before we can solve it together, give yourself some time to figure this out. Pause the video and give it a go. And as a hint, remember that the area of any circle can be calculated using this handy formula. I'll start by finding the area of the quarter circle. Notice that the radius is 4 units long, so plugging that into the formula, then dividing by 4, should give us the total area of 4 pi, which is approximately 12.6 square units. Next, I'll find the area of one of the semicircles. As you can see, its diameter is 4, so its radius must be half of that. Using this formula again, I'll find the area, then divide it by 2. We get 2 pi. What's interesting is, the area of the semicircle makes up half of the whole piece. But notice that there are two semicircles overlapping. If they weren't overlapping, they would have a combined area of 4 pi, which is the same as the quarter circle. This suggests that the overlap, this part in particular, is equal in the area of the region we're looking for. Therefore, if we could somehow find the overlapping area, by deduction, we've also found this part. From the illustration, the semicircles are positioned perpendicular to each other. They intersect here and here. But more importantly, at this intersection point, the distance spans half their diameter. Drawing two lines completes a square. The area of a square whose side length is 2 can be calculated very easily. Simply multiply the length and the width together to get 4 square units. We can then find the area of this quarter circle and subtract its area from the entire square. Since there are two identical quarter circles, we do this calculation again. We add their differences and subtract it from the area of the entire square, and this will lead us to the area of the overlap. As you can see, the area of the overlapped region equals roughly 2.28. As mentioned already, this also equals to the red region pictured on your screen. If you enjoyed this explanation and would like to see more of these, be sure to subscribe to our channel and support us by sharing or liking below. Thanks for watching.